We've got one for the true car enthusiast. This is a 1970 Challenger TA. That's the high performance 346 pack. This one is one of 900 and something made with the pistol grip four speed. 391 sure grip rear end. We got window sticker. We got build sheets. We have original trim tags. Uh, this is a heavily documented survivor. It's one of the best survivors I've seen. Uh, repainted one time, but it's original interior, original hood, original vinyl top, original glass. Even the dash pad's original, which means that VIN number never had to be re removed or replaced. So I'm going to tell you all about the car, but this is that special unmolested Challenger TA. And again, it's a four speed. Go to volocars.com and that's where you can see our complete inventory. We have over 200 of the nicest cars I've ever had for sale. And that's where you find a price tag on every one of them along with the monthly payment. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this is a really good one, folks. This is the one that the true collectors will you know, really appreciate. Uh, and everything's to the best of my knowledge. Uh, like the hood, for example, I don't think it's ever even been repainted. I believe this is original. The rivets don't look like they've been changed. There's no overspray. And it's in really nice shape. It's not cracked. It's blacked out because race car drivers don't need that glare in their eyes off the shiny paint. Uh, it's fiberglass with so lightweight, and that is functional ram air. Also fits very well. I've seen those things where they're bowed way up. In back, it's got the dovetail. Uh, but this is absolutely straight, clean, all real nice clean metal. I looked inside the trunk. The quarter panels are original, no cuts or splices. So this is the original panel, all nice, clean, all the way down to the bottom. It's clean all around here, clean at the bottom. Door fits real nicely, shuts real nice, all clean, smooth rockers, no bumps, nothing like that. All nice, clean metal. It fits really well. The jams are mostly original paint. The VIN number sticker is still in the jam here. It's not been painted around. It's even the original weather strips that are in pretty darn good shape. Uh, so the body is still excellent, straight, you know, fits the bumper real nice. <clears throat> it repainted one time, it's original color, a top banana yellow. They gave it a nice paint job, it's shiny, uh, it's pretty, it's not chipped up, it's not cracking. Um, real nice clean paint, it has the pen star only on one side, that's the way they were. Has the racing mirrors. It was optional to get it on the passenger side, so that's an option. Nice clean door. The rockers are nice and clean. Shuts like a new car. Clean quarter panels all around here is real nice. Has the pop-up gas cap. All the chrome's original, too. So getting back to the paint, it, it's a really nice paint job. I see a little orange peel here or there. I think they even buffed a little too hard down there. I've seen a little thin spot. It's a really nice paint job. It's not um, a 10. Correct antenna, original bumper, just slight patina on the bumper, just enough to let you know, yeah, it's original. Actually, there's a little dent right there. Tail lights are real nice. They're not all pitted up. The lenses look good. Uh, so again, original stuff. The marker lights are original. All the glass is original. There's something on the glass here. Something chewed it up a little bit. There's a few dents on this trim right here. Decals were replaced nicely. There's a little chip right here. Nice, clean, original door handle. Here's a chip in the paint that's touched up. The vinyl top is original. A couple small bumps right around the rear window trim. Uh, windshield's original, has little tiny surface chips. Here's a, a rock chip that actually went through the glass. Uh, but again, nice original. Original front bumper with a little patina. Has the chin spoilers down there. Yeah, all nice clean grill. So I've had other survivors uh, that didn't look this good. This is the best looking survivor that I've had. Uh, the wheels. 
and very important. Glad I remembered. Glad you reminded me. 15-inch rally wheels. Here's a little scuff in the ring right here. Reproduction tires. They are F60s in front. They're G60s in back. A taller tire to make clearance for the factory side exhaust. It bumped it up just enough to give a little more clearance that they needed. It's the only car that I know of that's ever put staggered size tires from the factory. Why don't we open it up? I got a lot more to show you inside. All right, let's see what we have in the trunk. First of all, notice it's painted black here. It's just so, I guess it blends in with the spoiler better. Uh, the yellow paint's looking nice. Not sure if that's been resprayed or if that's original. It does have the original weather strip on here. It's got a little tatter on the corners. But again, originality means so much to some people. You can put quarter panels on and replace the weather strip a million times. You can never put back the original. And that says something about the car. It's original metal, original rubber. Anyway, inside, all painted yellow. Nice, clean trunk floor. Uh, it has the collapsible spare with the Chrysler air bottle. It has the jack assembly over there. A couple goodies come with it. Uh, I don't know if they said this is the original. Maybe it's a reproduction, but uh, correct Mopar battery goes with it. The original number match distributor. It's got an upgraded one in there now. And then these are some extra stripe decals for the car. The mat looks like it's new. So very complete, clean trunk compartment. Yeah, this one's got a lot going for it. The four speed's a big deal. It has power steering, power brakes, rally gauges. Yeah, see the sticker in the jam. I believe that's original paint, original weather strip. Door panels, I believe, are original, and they're excellent. They're not brittle. They're not cracked. They're not you know, cut up. Real nice shape. The dash pad's a big deal. These dash pads always split. So you replace the dash pad. Well, the VIN number's attached to the dash pad. If you replace the dash pad, you have to drill out the rivets and you have to replace them. This one's never been tampered with, the best I can tell. This is an original dash, and for whatever reason, it did not split. It's a eight-track stereo car, so it has the stereo speakers and that's where they split is around the speakers. I don't see any splits. The dash pad is in really nice shape. It's original. We have the rally gauges. There's a little dimple there, a few light scratches here. But the rally gauges include the wood grain and all the instrumentation, the tachometer, gauges, and clock. And then down here is the uh, stereo 8-track player. Again, fits real nicely, not hacked up, not cut up, broken. This is all nice original. Glove box is clean. This lights up when you put it in reverse. That is functional. Kick panels are nice. I think the carpet's been replaced. Uh, it's in real nice shape, but I think that may have been replaced. Center console, again, the plastic's not beat up or broken or damaged. And right there, folks, that's the coolest part of the car. Original seat belts, even the shoulder belts. Original upholstery. This is an option. It was born this way, the vinyl and cloth. And look how nice it is. There's like a little snag, a little patina, just enough to let you know it's original. It also lets me know someone took care of this. This is not worn out. It's not ripped up. Cushions even still feel good. <clears throat> the back of the seat's not all beat up. Uh, so the rear seat's original. Like here's a little little tear and you can just look at the threads and the vinyl a little bit tougher you can tell it's original not reproduction but in really nice shape all the plastics in really good shape uh, the rear speaker shelf headliner i don't see any splits or tears i believe it's original light works original visors and mirror look really good steering wheel is really nice it's not worn the wood grain's not worn off uh, mileage is 87378 And there's pictures of the documentation on our website. Window sticker, a build sheet, 
another build sheet that's pretty tattered up. Original documentation, you know, manuals, all that stuff. This is the original VIN number matched 340 six pack engine. The 340 TA engine was different. It's cast right on the side of the block 340 TA. It's a different 340 block than all the others. It's built stronger, it's heavier duty. This is a high performance engine. On top is the original Edelbrock intake, and then there's three two barrel Holly carbs hiding underneath there. And this is a ram air system. The air is forced into here, the fresh air. So all the stock manifolds, valve covers, exhaust manifolds, uh, and all looks to be in real good shape. The engine bay is just nice, clean, straight metal. We've got the horns, uh, the washer bottle, the right original radiator, the shroud, even the fan. Fan looks like a new clutch fan, but I believe that'd be the correct type. Correct hose clamps. Now, if you're a real collector, you'll ask about these numbers. That's the VIN number of the car, like a secret hidden VIN number. This matches the car. These are the original tags, which we have decoded. These are originals. It says Trans Am right there. You can see this one's full of options. There's also like a crease right here. I forget the reason why, but I read about this. At the factory, they would fold them over, I think, to do the painting, and then they'd fold it down. That has the fold in it. Uh, and power steering, power brakes. I don't think they all came with that. I think those are some pretty desirable options to have in one of these. And then there's also another hidden VIN number on the cowl that does match the car. So just everything we checked out on this car checked out the way that it should be. Now, if you wanted to put date-coded spark plug wires and reproduction belts, they didn't go as far as that. But again, this is a really well-preserved original car. Now, Caleb's going to take you for a drive and, and push that uh, pistol grip shifter around. How about a 70 Challenger TA, guys? Because that's what we are driving. We're going to take her around the block just in time for Christmas. Showing you how she drives. This has the six pack with the four speed. Power steering, power brakes. Feels good so far. Suspension feels nice and tight. I'll tell you what, this seat's really comfortable. Clutch feels good. It was shifting through the gears. Felt really good. Power brakes feel really nice. No pulling left or right. Let's see what she's got. Turn signal lights up. That's a muscle car. <laughs> We're cruising 60 miles an hour, no problems. It is on, I believe, bias ply tires, so you're gonna feel that a little bit more when you're driving it, but still very drivable. And look, we're cruising it, no problems. Gauges are working, they're lit up. It's like everything's working besides the clock. The clock's not functional, horn works. Mm -hmm. Turn signals did cancel. I got the heat on because it's definitely a chilly day. Downshift's real nice. Yeah, you'll feel like a badass driving this one around. Ooh. There you have it, Challenger TA.
So underneath the car is also very well preserved, maintained as needed. The floors, the frame rails, the rockers, all that looks like nice, clean metal. I don't think it's been replaced. It doesn't look like it's patched up. Steering and susp suspension components all look clean. Uh, and each car does go through an inspection. Our lead mechanic drives each car. They put it on the lift. They inspect it. Uh, if it needs something that, you know, a ball joint or anything like that, we'll do it. Uh, matter of fact, I even uh, list in the description of each car the work that we did perform. So it's been inspected. Steering, suspension, all looks good. It is a different steering and suspension setup for the TA that's all part of the package. Uh, it has disc brakes in front, drum and back. E-brake is all hooked up. You look up at the motor, it is clean. The VIN number that is stamped uh, on the engine down by the oil pan is the same exact stamp that's on the transmission. That's important because both were stamped at the same time. So they have to be exactly the same font. Uh, you know, if a number is a little crooked or whatever, they got to match up and they are identical to each other. That's what the Mopar experts look at to verify someone hasn't you know, re-stamped it. And then in back is a 391 Sure Grip rear end. It still has the tag uh, attached to it that says 3.91. The fuel tank was replaced. It looks newer uh, and has the special exhaust unique to this car only. Uh, it's pretty wild. The exhaust goes back into the muffler and then the same Pipes come out and kind of curl, curl around and come out the side. So this is a factory side exhaust car. So of all the Challenger TAs that you would want to collect, I think this is one of the best ones we've ever had. Uh, great list of options, great color. The four speed makes it much more desirable. Documented galore. Even comes with a couple nice uh, show boards that will go with it as well. Go to volocars.com. That's where the salesman can help answer your questions, uh, including how to get it delivered to your door, how to get it financed. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified when the next video is posted. Thanks for watching.